take a look at the new custom code block in Rise, and it is in beta, so some things you see here might actually change before it's officially released. Um, and I was going to just show you, just kind of compare the custom code block to some other uh, blocks that we have in Rise. Um, the main takeaway I'm going to say is the custom code block is really cool. You can basically do everything you could do with the uh, multimedia embed block, which is just an iframe. Uh, but if we look at that iframe, so here, this is multimedia embed. Whoop. I, I just embedded the entire Articulate website. Um, and it and it works, but a couple things you'll notice. the There's a slight gray border around the iframe. And then it you, we get this scrolling effect. So it's not really content aware as far as uh, the, the content inside of this iframe. Uh, but custom code block, let me show you one thing. And you may notice my fonts are a little goofed up. I'll explain why. And I'll show you how to fix that real quick too. If I go into content, and by, I kind of wish they called this the HTML block because I think people are going to get confused between custom code block and this is one of the custom blocks. Um, Anyway, I just, I, I can tell people are going to refer to them interchangeably and it's going to cause a lot of confusion. But anyway, custom, custom code block. I've got uh, full, full access to this HTML and it's getting inserted in my rise course as, uh, as an iframe. And I'm just going to show you though, how, uh, custom code block behaves a little differently I'm just copying my h1 and my paragraph by the way generally a bad idea to put more than one h1 in any kind of document especially this one because we already have an h1 on each of our lessons it is an h1 so uh, do as I say and as I do which actually brings up a good point you are if you're using custom code block you are in charge of all of the accessibility and responsive design because it it's a blank slate comes with nothing it's not even inheriting my fonts I'm, I'm using inter which by the way does inherit and i can select in my uh custom block but custom code block it it is a blank drawing board also, there's no design. You, you need to bring your own design system. It's not the content of real simple content. It is not inheriting any of the Rise uh, grid system. Uh, and let me just make a, a change here. So I've got font family enter. I'm trying to use enter, but it's protected from the entire rest of my course. Uh, not inheriting any of the design from the rest of my course but let's uh let's do text align center so we can actually see so uh we can see i and it, this is mainly going to be for advanced users especially if you're more on the development side of uh instructional design um, but as you can see, so I just centered my, my text, but if I wanted to line up with the rest of my left margin or any of the responsive code, I'm going to have to build that, uh, from scratch. Nothing, nothing is getting inherited. Um, and let's just, just based on that, I've got a whole bunch of random content. And now we can see, um, well, one thing, we don't have that, uh, that one pixel, like gray border around it, but also we don't get that separate, uh, scroll that we do. This is the iframe. See, we got that, 
uh, that thin border and then as I scroll down so we've got basically two two scrolling areas one is the actual website uh, that's why not a lot of people even use the multimedia and bed block for a couple reasons it it doesn't fit in the in the course especially well with that iframe the other thing is you have to host it yourself the cool thing about custom code block or the other cool thing about custom code block it's essentially an iframe I have not exported it yet so it may actually use a shadow document which is a JavaScripty way to basically use an iframe shadow document is actually how the custom block here this discussion is uh, uh, is, is rendered in, in the rise course um, but anyway you, you can see I made my my code a whole bunch longer it is context aware I guess we'll call it or content aware that that iframe however it's getting embedded so it's nice nice and and seamless um, but we got to bring our own design including fonts let me show you real quick how I got enter to load if I go to my Google fonts at first I tried the at link uh, method which is the default method uh, for Google fonts I switched over to at to the import method and I'll just show you this is usually a lot easier to uh, to implement if you're building a website and that's essentially what we're doing we're building like a little website inside of this custom code block let me go here so if we go to and this needs to be the first line of our CSS oh and we have a live preview I didn't even hit save or anything so now I've got uh, my inter font rise and I think I think pretty much all the uh, the fonts available in rise that the default fonts they are available on, on Google fonts so with uh, just a couple lines you can you can get your your fonts loading again uh, let's actually hit preview here um, so this is my lesson actually one thing I wanted to show oh well let's, let's go back to preview I don't want to make this video too long it actually loads a little better when I do like the full course preview um, so custom code block is awesome but I, I can't wait to experiment more with it but I wanted to show you one thing this is the custom block I used the uh, conversation template to get started one thing you'll notice it's not especially responsive if I'm making my my window a little smaller you'll see it starts scaling down the same way an image or a video would or a, a piece of storyline so if you had like an infographic or something you'll probably expect it just to scale down but this was just a simple two column layout could have could have been fully responsive and collapsed the the columns um, but it's not responsive in the way the rest of rise is so uh that's going to be uh, might be an issue if, if your team does you know uh responsive and accessibility qa on your course uh just just be aware whatever you're doing with custom block not custom code block but custom clock uh, custom block which is basically the kind of a free form drawing tool that you see on other uh uh, platforms uh, it's not going to be especially responsive and the way this is rendered it, even trying to add custom CSS I, I, it's going to be very difficult to uh, get a responsive uh, a fully responsive experience with with uh, custom block um, so you can see the font size about half uh, of and this is 17 pixels this is the standard uh, paragraph font or paragraph font size and we're I don't even know it's rendering it something like maybe half half that size so this would fail uh, kind of an accessibility QA if if your team is interested in that 
Um, but okay, yeah, so that's just a couple things. I'm going to be doing a lot more experimenting with uh, a custom code block because there's a whole bunch of things that people are looking for that you cannot do natively in rise until now you you can do what whatever you want but you're gonna have to bring your entire design system and fonts so okay so that's that's my feedback on uh custom code block i think i covered everything i wanted to uh, so main takeaways custom code block uh it's awesome the the way it fits inside the rise course is a lot more seamless than uh, uh the multimedia embed block and you get to store all your assets directly in rise um but the other thing i mean kind of the downside it's not a very efficient way to to you know build a regular website like this is just one custom code block let's say i had another custom code block that was a similar uh, visually and functionality wise i'm gonna have to upload the entire thing again i mean i just have a little bit of css here but i'm gonna have to re-add all, all my dependencies like this google font and whatever my design system is i'm gonna have to add that multiple times if i have multiple custom code blocks so not not super efficient that's kind of one one of the uh, bad things about it and that's just eh, it's, it's just going to add a lot of file size to my to my overall rise course um depending on what my design system is so i think custom code block it's best if it is a highly customized interaction or visual design that's just not available in natively in rise uh, but just be aware you're building like basically a microsite within your your course so managing that design system uh, uh, might be a, a challenge if you have to make updates and, and redeploy um, as, as well as uh, there might be some file size considerations depending on on what type of content you're adding in that uh, custom code block but Okay, that's all for now. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot more experiments with what's possible in the custom code block.